Hello, my name is Ben Wells. I'm the rector at St. Francis Episcopal Church in Macon, Georgia. And this is my rector's message for Wednesday, October the 18th for our e-news this week. And I led morning prayer this morning. The passage was uh, for the gospel was from Matthew chapter 10. Jesus is sending out the 12, the 12 disciples. And uh, telling them you know, not to take anything extra with them, that they're going to be basically solely relying in their vulnerability on God. And can, he continues to tell, especially in this morning's passage, that, and I'm going to sound like President Roosevelt here, that they have nothing to fear but fear itself. Because people... Uh, some people may not want to hear the gospel because they've built a whole empire on subjecting others uh, with their fear. And the gospel has a unique way of lifting fear. It's breaking the fetters that have been placed upon us by others and generally by ourselves also. Um, the fear of what might happen. And the gospel uh, releases us from that fear. So you can see that people then and now may not like to hear that message or may not want those around them to hear that message. Uh, their comfort and security is based upon keeping people in chains, metaphorical chains, or in some cases, real chains. And I'm talking also bringing that fear into immigration, uh, into how people are treated uh, in the lesbian and gay community, uh, how people of color are treated. That's all based on fear. And the gospel can release us of that fear. But Jesus also is telling his disciples that there's going to be a pushback. And that their fear, um, their fear, may cause them to stammer in delivering the gospel. And for our own lives, that can happen when faced down by fear, fear of being hurt, fear of being ostracized, and fear of death, of suffering and death. And then Jesus reminds them also that God is the one in charge. God knows us better than we know ourselves. Uh, God knows when a sparrow falls. God knows all the hairs on our head. Uh, so I may have, that may not such be a big task for me, but I do have a beard. So there's some hair there. But the, um, the underlying meaning is God is with us. Uh, and not to fear those who can bring bodily death. Because as people of faith, we know that in some form, we will continue on. And being of uh, death is not the end for us. For my way of being, it's not the end for anyone. So, as we deliver this message of the gospel, the freeing of people from bonds of um, of other people's desire for comfort and security, and also from the bonds of complacency. Uh, let us remember that God is with us, and as you hear me pray for healing. No matter what, no matter what, God will never abandon us. Uh, even the people that lived in these buildings and used these buildings uh, at one time, they are not abandoned. The buildings may crumble and disintegrate, but God's love is with us and God will never abandon us. Blessings on your day and always.